Hey, what up YouTube, Fallout here, and today we have a brand new exotic in the game that I may have mentioned in a previous video. It's finally here. It is the Ruinous Effigy Exotic Trace Rifle. There is a new exotic quest. Go blow through it, and you get this gun. Finally have it after a little bit of grinding, and we are here about to do a live test for both PvE and PvP to see how the gun performs. Here's the exotic perk. Transmutation. Final blows with this weapon collapse victims into a void transmutation sphere. Sounds really weird, but uh, we are going to figure that out. And then the follow-up perk is evolution. Transmutation spheres you create can be picked up and wielded as weapons by you or your allies. You got the light attack, you got the heavy attack, and you got guard, drain, nearby combatants. Let's figure out how that works. Okay, here's how the weapon works in PvE. It is a regular trace rifle, takes special ammo, but when you kill an enemy, boom. They transform into a transmutation sphere. You can pick that up. You begin with 29 ammo, and you can see that even if you're doing nothing, there is a countdown. So ideally, you should be doing something with the sphere. So you got your regular light attack. You can smack people with it. It's okay. Uh, if you're thinking that you can swim with it, like you can swim with certain items in PvE, you can't really swim with the light attack. So get that idea out of your head. For the heavy attack, Big damage, but when you do the heavy attack, no matter what, uh, all your ammo is going to go away. Like so. You know what I wonder? If uh, if you do the heavy attack with more ammo, does it do more damage? I'm gonna check right now. So we're gonna do a full, or a near full dunk on an ogre. 38,122. 38,122. Okay, so no matter when, you activate the power attack, you are going to get the same amount of damage no matter what. So, in a perfect world, you could wait until your Void Transmutation Sphere is almost out of ammo, and then as a last hurrah, you could just dunk on some poor chump, because why not? So the final ability for the Void Transmutation Sphere is the Guard. And I'm using the word Guard, not Block, because uh, this does not make you immune to incoming damage. It's simply a Guard effect, like a sword. And you can see that you do continuous damage to the enemy while you hold it down. Here's something interesting about the guard feature, though. You can hold it past one. See how the ammo goes down to one, yet we are still guarding? The only problem, though, is if you guard at one, it's going to take your health away, and it will eventually kill you if you do too much guarding. The plan might be to activate the guard mode and do lots of damage to nearby enemies repeatedly, until you get down to about one ammo, or, you know, low ammo, whatever, until you're down on health, and then finish off by doing a dunk attack. <laughs> like so. So we also learned that while doing the guard effect and damaging enemies, you will slowly regain health. We figured that out in a lost sector. Here's the footage. I am frying one acolyte, picking it up, and block time. Oh, I think it heals you too. It oh. does! Dude, it heals you! Alright, so the last thing we want to figure out for the weapon's performance in PvE is how effective is the exotic catalyst. If you want to know how to unlock the exotic catalyst, that's probably a different video. <laughs> Ruinous Effigy Catalyst, which I think you have to activate by playing PvE and using the guard effect to damage and kill one enemy. And when you've done that, you have to either kill 5,000 enemies with the guard effect, which I'm not going to lie, it's probably going to take you a very long time, or you can go around the universe shooting the random Sabathun Taken Eyes. I don't have a video on that, but I did read an article that helped out very much. I will put the link to that article in the video description if you want to find out where the eyes are in order to complete the exotic catalyst. So now that we have the exotic catalyst, let's read. This weapon deals increased damage against targets damaged by transmutation spheres. We did our math on the fly and figured out that the exotic catalyst will give you a 30% damage buff to any enemy who is being damaged by a void orb. Again, Nick, a demonstration for the people. Okay, your partner collects a void orb, comes over here doing damage. That's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. Nick, go damage the ogre again. Do it again. 
This this time we don't have a rift here. I'll, I'll do a rift. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, now do it with two guns. All right, go. Go, Nick. All right, get him, Mudkip. Oh, my God. That is powerful. Oh, that is so strong. Hit him with the oppressive. Okay. And now go. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, and we're gonna do the one, two, three dunk, all right? So Nick is gonna damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk. yeah. Yeah, yeah, here. Okay, ready? Dunk! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great! Dude, that's great! Okay, so quick reminder that with the Ruinous Effigy Exotic Catalyst, this weapon deals increased damage against targets damaged by a transmutation sphere. So it's not that a transmutation sphere makes enemy targets vulnerable to all other types of incoming damage. It's specifically with this gun. So you debuff an enemy, either by hitting them with a light or a dunk or a guard attack, and then you just kind of free the beast on them with the trace rifle. That is the play. And wow, as we've seen, it can completely liquefy enemies in PvE. So now we know how the Ruinous Effigy performs in PvE, as seen by the Tribute Hall. Now we're gonna bring the gun into PvP. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna see how uh, fast the weapon kills in the body. I feel like that's about standard. Oh, look, it does work. <laughs> hey, Nick. Okay, so a light hit does 150 damage. So that's a, a two hit kill with the light. Now let's see how the, let's see how the dunk does. <laughs> 300 damage for a dunk. So, here we go. Stop moving. 68. 43. So, uh, you're gonna liquefy Mudkip and pick up a Void Orb and pick it up and block. Okay. Pick it up and block. Now block, please. 22. Not bad. It reduces everything down to 22 damage. Can't even get a headshot on you. So the plan oh. might be to get a void orb, and if you're approaching somebody else, approach them while guarding into a dunk. All right, it we're gonna go into game. actual uh, PvP now. Here we go, baby. Aha! You're mine! Here we go, wait for the dunk, wait for the dunk, Mudkip. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Here we go, gamer. Here! <laughs> you have to be really spot on with that dunk, bro. You have to be really spot on with those dunks. And you need a lot of ammo. <laughs> Dude, anyone... <laughs> You're just gonna get liquefied in PvP if you bring this gun in. I'm telling you right now. You would have to be a trace rifle god. To, to get this weapon to really perform the way you want it to. Here we go. Mudkip, I got it, baby. I got it. You got one? Uh, no, here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for my time to shine. There's a dude over here. I need to approach very carefully. Oh, I'm watching your name. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, right boys. Here we go. Right, get, it, get it. Get it. Time to get it, gamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so stupid. Yes. Okay, here we go. Got another one. Got another one, baby. Here we go. <laughs> oh God, stay away from me. <laughs> this is such a dumb weapon, dude. Y you know what this gun is like? If, uh, if M Tashed spun his punishment wheel one of the punishments would be like, <laughs> take this into trials. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, boys. Mudkib, take the take the bait for me. Come on and slam. <laughs> there's another if one. There's you want a jam? There's a <laughs> oh god, golden gun! <gasps> Thank you. One more for good luck. <laughs> All right. Closing thoughts on the Ruinous Effigy. One of the most unique weapons ever created by Bungie. 
pretty hilarious. If you're in a mood where you want to have fun and be silly and laugh, definitely try out the Ruinous Effigy. I think it was pretty viable in PvE. If you have the Exotic Catalyst, which took me maybe about an hour to complete, you can do a lot of fun things. You can do a lot of really rock solid DPS in PvE. I think there have already been a bunch of clips on Twitter of people using the gun in PvE. Uh, but yeah, very fun. I don't think it's gonna be the king in the DPS department. I don't think it's gonna dethrone maybe Xenophage, Divinity, uh, Swords, especially the Guillotine. I don't think it's gonna be king of DPS, but it's a very fun, enjoyable weapon for PvE. For PvP, uh, I would rather go into PvP with a wet foam pool noodle and whack people with that than use this gun in PvP. I think the only people using this weapon in PvP are going to be trying to make meme videos like MP edits <laughs> or they are trace rifle gods. If you ever see someone in PvP with this weapon, they either lost a bet or they love PvP trace rifles way too much. <laughs> and those are my final thoughts on the Ruinous Effigy. It's available right now. Go pick it up from the Drifter at the tower. Fun weapon, silly, enjoyable, and uh, you might really like it for PvE. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.